Okay guys, in this one's human video I will just show you the best two items for raising damage, right? So one drink and one food, and the food is scrambly bread, and the drink is whimsical drink, right? So for the first one you need wheat, David de aloe vera, sugar, and the corn oil, guys. So you can get sugar from beets, right? And you can make corn oil from corn. And then, so all these plants that you need you can find if you look at the video that is showing on the red corns now. And now for the drink, so whimsical drink again. This one is even more easier to make, right? So you need just water, purified water, I mean. You need ice cubes, deviated saffrons, and one of these few plants, guys. So here you can add six different plants. So if I scroll a little bit down, right, then you can see these boosts here. So the best two, at least in my opinion, are these two, guys. So first one, bellflower, it's going to give the dish bonus effect plus 10%. That means that these bonuses that you have here is going to be raised for 10%. And then the sage one, if you use the sage, then the duration, the duration of the dish bonus is going to be then 10% more and this is like duration is half an hour and with this you will have three minutes more right and then the other three the honeysuckle will just give you hp restoring bonus the scarlet calamus is going to be dish weight so you don't want this and the dishes provide a sanity restoring bonus so this one and the honeysuckle are good but again not that good as the sage and bellflower one and the yellow lotus is just for dish durability so you can build it with this one if you want to stack this in uh, the storage right and you can use it later then with this you will get 20 percent more dish durability but in the end the best two are these ones so for the duration and this for raising the bonuses effect plus 10 percent guys and then deviated saffron again you can find deviated saffrons anywhere in the world guys especially all around here you know what i mean all this when you unlock this area saffrons are everywhere so very easy to find them right and then purified water and the ice how you can get that for the purified water you just need to build one osmosis or the normal water purifier and add the water pumps whatever, wherever you want and you will get this dirty water and just connect then pumps with the tanks and you will get lots of purified water guys and then for the ice just build a fridge press g and just add the purified water and you will get the ice cubes here and that's it very easy to make actually this crumbly bread right i mean not the crumbly bread but uh, the whimsical drink so just the plants, just the deviated saffron, the water and the ice. And this one is for the 25 status damage bonus, guys. And the other one is for increase all weapon damage by 25%. So both of these you can eat one food and you can drink one drink, right? And you will see those bonuses then here, one here and one here, right? And another thing to say, guys, if you don't eat and you don't drink at all in the game, it's only gonna reduce your stamina, speed and movement speed, you know what I mean? And your load, so... Whatever you are in the base or you're doing whatever, you just don't need to eat and drink, guys. And then you will just run slow like this and everything else is gonna stay the same. So you can actually play the whole game. You don't need to eat and drink ever if you can deal with this slow speed, right? And a little bit of load. So my current load is like 150, right? And if I now eat and drink, it's just gonna raise 20 kilo more. So that's not much, you know what I mean? So load, you see here now, minus 10 and minus 20, that's it. And if you don't drink, it's just gonna drain your stamina and recovery speed, movement speed, so. So thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and jumping in another one's human video.